guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today because we have a great hack for your vinyl projects. Now, if you enjoy vinyl projects, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. That way you're always notified of our latest and greatest. But today, guys, super exciting stuff. We are showing you and testing for you for alternatives to using transfer tape. All right guys, so here we are, and today I have a pretty exciting video, or at least I think it's an exciting video, and we are showing you and testing, maybe a little bit of a comparison going on, for alternatives to using transfer tape. Now, I just wanna say, I don't recommend these as a permanent replacement for transfer tape. I love my transfer tape. You guys know the one I get on Amazon. I link it in all my videos. I'll link it for you again in this video. So make sure you check the description, but sometimes you don't have time to wait or you can't find any transfer tape locally and you may already have some of these things in your home. So it's kind of a win-win. They can get you through in a pinch and they're usually quick and easy to find. So. Without further ado, let me tell you what I have. I have Glad Press and Seal. Okay, now I will say that I did have to go to a grocery store to purchase this. I tried to stop by, um, you know, places like Dollar General, Family Dollar, because they're quick in and out. Um, that was a no-go, but you are going to find it in places like, I found it at Winn-Dixie, you could find it at Publix, Walmart, Target, um, you know, all of the major retailers, okay? This is a lint roller. Okay, nothing special about it at all. The only concession that we'll make is we will pull off a brand new sheet. <laughs> that way it's nice and clean. This right here is probably the most common. It is clear contact paper, okay? A lot of people start off using this and they never venture into actual transfer tape. Um, I was like that in the beginning. I used to use contact paper all the time, but it always seemed like when it really mattered, the contact paper would let me down. So I don't use it all the time anymore. I only use it when I'm in a pinch or sometimes if I'm making a stencil, I will use it. And the last thing we're testing out today, last but not least, is painter's tape. Now this is the Duck brand actual clean re release painter's tape, um, but I think they're all about the same in terms of what we're gonna use it for today. Painter's tape, probably most masking tapes. So you are bound to determine to have one of these in your house. I mean, I don't wanna say that for sure, but it feels like that should be true. So I have four decals, and I have cut all of these decals out of the same sheet of vinyl. So there should be nothing different. I chose designs that were at least similar as far as like small details and letters, and you know, I made them about the same size. So this should be a pretty good comparison on where to go, uh, depending on what you have at your house. Let's go ahead and start with, you know what I wanna start with? I wanna start with the contact paper. So I'm just gonna pull the one on the end and I'm going to trim a piece that's going to fit my decal. So this one is going to be the most similar to transfer tape. The hardest thing that I have is trying to remove the paper backing from the actual contact paper. There we go, so I'm gonna get it started. Pull it off and I'm going to apply it over my decal. Of course, I do have a burnishing tool because it's not a fair comparison without some burnishing. So if I peel from the front, it looks like it started to pull everything up and it stopped right here at the S. That's okay because you know, sometimes that happens to me with transfer tape. Let's give it another good burnishing. Okay, still not crazy about it. That's okay. My other favorite trick is to pull the paper from the back instead of um, the other way around, okay? So it looks like with a little bit of help, I can easily transfer this over. So definitely not my favorite compared to real transfer tape, but this is a pretty good alternative. It didn't take very much effort on my part. And we can now transfer that over to any project we want. Now, I'm just gonna put this right back on the backing because I'm not ready to use it yet. So next, let's go ahead and try the painter's tape. I would rate this as number two most likely to have. The bad part about painter's tape is that you will have to piece it. And I am going to have it overlap just a little bit. 
Okay, same thing. I'm going to burnish it. Let's pull it up. Now, if I pull my painter's tape, my decal comes right up. Now, right off the bat, the problem that I see with this is that, especially with the blue painter's tape, it's going to be difficult for me to see where to align my decal whenever I'm applying it. But I will say that pulling it off, it came off really, really easy. Okay, so moving on to number three. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and do the Glad Press and Seal. So I do want to make sure, I did struggle getting it out of the box a little bit. That's on me, that's not a reflection of the Glad Press and Seal. I'm just gonna let it touch down and then I'm going to press it, smooth it into place. Now I wanna tell you what I love most about Glad Press and Seal and I do recommend it over transfer tape in some instances because I have, uh, you know, I have a, a little vinyl store, a local vinyl store, and I have teachers that come in and they're wanting to apply vinyl to their teacher boards outside of their classroom, which are covered in paper. And the complaint is that the transfer tape is really hard on the paper background. It can, you can rip it, tear it, pull pieces off, that sort of thing. So what I love about the press and seal well, it didn't want to pull up there for sure. But what I love about the press and seal is once the vinyl is adhered to the press and seal, the press and seal won't damage the paper background. You know what? I did not burnish this. What am I doing? Can't call it a fair comparison. So it took a little bit of help, just like we did with the contact paper, but our decal is on there. So. Very impressed with that. And last but not least, now I have not tried this one. What I'm going to do is go ahead and start a brand new sheet. Okay, nice and clean guys. Now, I will say I have seen some videos where they take the lint roller and roll it right across the decal. Let's not get any crazy ideas. I am not that brave, okay? Now, like I said, I haven't actually tried this. So what I'm going to do is just pull out enough to cover my entire decal, pull my sheet off. I'm just going to lay this down right on top. Okay, let's go ahead and burnish it. Okay, we have partial adhesion. I think we did really well. It, again, number three that needed a little bit of help, that's okay, I don't mind if these decals need a little bit of help. The point of the matter is that the vinyl adhered it adhered well, it adhered well enough to be able to finish a project. So let's go ahead and just rate these and talk about them a little bit. So we have, we tried first our contact paper and I would say for ease of use, it is going to be the most similar to using transfer tape because it's clear, you know, it just need a little bit of help, but it feels like transfer tape. It works a lot like transfer tape. It's probably going to be my number one alternative if I don't have transfer tape on hand. Number two, we're actually going to bump that down um, because like I said, I can't really see my decal. So I just see that being a problem. Now, obviously I would use it in a pinch and I may feel differently if this was masking tape because I might be able to see my decal behind it. But because I can't, we're gonna move it all the way down to number four. So we have number one, number four. I'm going to rate the lint roller as my number two. Again, just needed a little bit of help, but at least it is translucent. So I would be able to trim around this, see where I'm gonna place my decal and complete my project. And then number three, well, I don't know that that's really fair. This, I will say, is a specialty use transfer tape, okay? Because I do absolutely recommend it when you are working with you know, sensitive, we'll call it thin paper items, like those teacher backgrounds, okay? So we will we will give it, you know, its own little category here, but I would definitely say uh, for my personal preference, I would give it a one, two, and a three for contact paper, lint roller, and then blue painter's tape, okay? Now, let's go ahead and test how well these adhere to a surface. So I'm going to use just a sheet of black cardstock, nothing special about it, but you know, I don't have any problem whatsoever when I use regular transfer tape and it'll be a good test for our Glad Press and Seal right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put each decal in the corner and we will put them in order. We will try them in order of how we felt about the adhesion part. So let's go ahead and remove our backing here. 
Okay, actually I will turn this one sideways since it's a little large. Smooth it down. So that was a very good transfer and release. Okay, I didn't have any problems with that whatsoever. Now, I wouldn't reuse this, okay? I don't think contact paper is reusable, even though I said it was my favorite and closest to transfer tape. I see it as a single use item. Number two, we have our other next decal on the lint roller paper. Okay, again, another really clean adhesion between our vinyl and release from the lint roller. And I'll also say one thing that I'm noticing is that there is no residue left behind. You may see my fingerprints just because it's black cardstock and I leave fingerprints on everything. But um, actually I take that back. So this is a little sticky right here. Not the rest of it, but for some reason right here. Yeah, and, and definitely on the contact paper, I don't have any sticky spots here. So I wonder, wonder what that is from, but you know, if you have a little bit of alcohol, depending on the surface, you would be able to wipe that off. So still, so far my second. Now let's try the painter's tape. So I will definitely say that the grip from the painter's tape was the strongest. As a matter of fact, um, there's a little bit of damage to my paper or my cardstock um, where it stuck down over here and then also here, um, right here at the bottom. Can you see that? So definitely the strongest grip, um, really, unless I was really in a pinch, I don't think it would be a go-to item for me. Now, it'll also depend on what you're sticking it to. If I was putting it on something that was stainless steel or glass, probably wouldn't be as much of a deal, big deal, but um, for it to damage my surface, I think this could be a problem. Also, if I was putting it on something that doesn't stick real well, like a wood sign, then I don't think that this would release well enough to make it an easy project to release my vinyl onto. And last but not least, our press and seal. So definitely easy to position. I will say that since this isn't as sturdy as some of the other, uh, you know, the contact paper, the lint roller, or the painter's tape, it is a little bit more flimsy. So you have to pay a little bit more um, attention just because, you know, if you let it flop, then you could get it placed in an area that you weren't expecting or it could fold down on each other. So I don't think I'm gonna burnish this. I'm just gonna smooth it into place. Yep, and my press and seal peeled right off. So overall, I'm very happy with how this little experiment turned out. I think that we got really good results. We have four very viable alternatives for transfer tape in the event that you don't happen to have any at your house or can't find any locally. And I would love to hear from you guys and you tell me what your favorite transfer tape alternatives are because we love building our little community here and sharing with each other. So once again, just to recap, contact paper was my number one. The lint roller sheet was my number two. I'm gonna have to second guess and say that the press and seal is a solid three. Um, even though we had put it in a different category, it's still going to be a solid three. I would definitely use it over the masking tape or rather the painter's tape just because this was such a hard release. So, all right, that is my verdict. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And like I said, I look forward to hearing what your ideas are for alternatives to transfer tape and even, you know, what other hacks you enjoy using with your Cricut or Silhouette. So let's wrap it up. So guys, how did you feel about our testing of the four different alternatives that you can find either around your house or at least find locally for transfer tape? Now, like I said in the beginning, this is not a permanent replacement for transfer tape, but rather something that you can use in the pinch. It's going to bail you out of a tight spot. You know, I probably don't need to say this, but I absolutely would not use one of these to give or to sell a decal in case you are giving it to somebody to apply themselves. I would only trust real transfer tape for that. But guys, if you're in a pinch, these are great ideas that you can use. And like I said, likely have near and dear in your very own home. But if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below, especially if you have any additional transfer tape hacks that you want to share. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crafty friend. That way we can keep growing the channel and keep bringing you these really awesome videos. But for today, guy, I am going to wrap it up. I appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you again next time.